It was very much down to the keyboard player, Rick Wright, who said to me one day, he said, Storm, can we not have one of your pictures? I said, but Rick, that's what I do. He said, yeah, but we've had those. Can we have something else? We have something cool and graphic. I'd seen this image of a prism and its refracted rainbow in a physics textbook. The motif is, of course, public property. It is not, you know, my design, if you like, or my idea particularly. I mean, it is to use it as an album cover, and it is most particularly to put it on black. We um, co-opted our friend George Hardy to do it, because um, he could draw straight lines and I couldn't. I remember being on a train thinking, this is not enough. <laughs> well, it's not enough for me. Submitted it to the band along with six other roughs. They stood around, they went, no, 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 yes. No, 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 yes. And it took about two minutes. I think the iconic nature of the dark side of the moon has got to be about my favourite. It's just one simple, clear, graphic thing, which is says so much with so little. Dark Side was one of those lucky things that it's hard to explain, because the band, I think, also have never understood why it was so successful. We, of course, know it was the cover, right? <laughs>